here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is going to happen here, so we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now, part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. Raymond Bishop's work in training camp is now. The ref is stopping the fight. The swelling just much too much. That's it. TKO. Technical knockout. A great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Raymond Bishop. Right hand downstairs. Oh, that's got to hurt. Wait for here, Mr. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Raymond Bishop. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Big shot. He was able to get up. One last now he goes down again. To be so taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. Gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. Rosario's making for a very inviting target right now. Cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's gotta be elusive right now. He's gotta be big shot. Once again, he goes down. He survived it. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Ice hard charging with that right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So there it is! That combination was a down. Hey. Corner just step in there and stop it. Doubling up the jab by Raymond Bishop. And bang it away. So he might figure it out. Being around right now. These middle rounds are not being won by a brawling style. No, not at all. If he had a physical guy in front of him, he'd get away with it. But he's got a technician in front of him. A guy who's just taking him apart, little by little. Way through this round. Super two punch combo by Raymond Bishop. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes. Because now you think he's just going to walk. What a big shot. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the net. He's going to have to find a way. Vander. Good flush shot upstairs. What impact from that uppercut by Raymond Bishop. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that. Because now all of a sudden you slow yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot. Instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go. Oh, he is stunned. He could go solid. What a shot. Please. that was and knock him down. Boy, big shot up top. Scores up top for the left. Jones has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. 
It's hard to touch Roy Jones Jr. with a clean glove. But if he can, his opponent does have power. Yes, he does have power. The That's a big right hand. Look at that. Lumbering left hand puts him down. Of his own, a left hand score. Teddy, if you're training Tommy Burns' his opponent tonight, you got a power puncher going up against him. What are you advising him? Well, obviously, you want to find a way to land that power. And what you want to do is... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down. A couple of punches just put him down. Get the other brothers out. It is raining punches here. And after being knocked down in the previous round, Teddy... How much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, big shot. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Raymond Bishop. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out from here. Hopkins is cut. Oh. He's now changing the course of this fight. Well, the fighter's been trying to do his job. Now the corner man is the most important person right now in that ring. He has to do his Oh, that's got to hurt. Knock down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? The foundation. I mean, you look at a house you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. The cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at these legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Look at that! From absolutely out of nowhere, and now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. Sometimes a guy is making a solemn agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. What are you doing? Oh! A huge uppercut puts him down! Even more adversity for him to overcome here. Now, the blood comes from the mouth. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, and is this the end for Andre Bishop? He has some questions to answer after being floored by that power punch.